How are we feeling today, guys? What is going on? Sacktown Pete back at it again. The Sacramento Kings are at home, and they get the win today against the Chicago Bulls. Final score from the Golden 1 Center tonight, 110-101. to Let's talk about it because the Sacramento Kings at times let down defensively, but when it mattered the most in the fourth quarter and when they needed to execute to put this one away, they did that. And, boy, this team takes care of some home cooking before they embark on their uh, six-game road trip. So let's talk about the numbers with the starting five. Harrison Barnes was solid. 38 minutes, 17 points, 6 boards, 0 assists. He was 6 of 10 overall from the field. 3 of 6 from downtown and made both of his free throws. Um, the crap that HB has gotten over early on in the season, um, that has disappeared and gone away. Because, boy, when Harrison Barnes is playing like this and when he's the 4th or 5th guy that is playing like this, he's a keeper and he's a old savvy veteran. It's like every time the Bulls went on a run, Harrison Barnes is a run killer. He found ways to get it done, uh, whether it's getting to the hoop or whether it's trying to draw a foul. Harrison Barnes is a run killer, and it didn't stop tonight. He exactly, that's what he did tonight, and he was solid. Damana Sabonis, in 36 minutes, so Sabonis had 11 points, 17 rebounds, 10 assists, triple-double for Domas tonight. That's crazy, man. He was 2 of 4 overall from the field. Uh, he made a three-pointer, and uh, the best thing about it was uh, he made six of six from the free throw line. Domas is crazy. It's just being impactful in ways when you're offensively quiet for the night. The fact that he had 17 boards and 10 dimes and 11 points on two of four shooting, what a elite talent, man. We are blessed and grateful to have Domas Sabonis in Sacramento, and I speak uh, for a majority of you guys by saying that. So, great all-around game by Domas tonight. Didn't have to be dominant and still found a way to be dominant. And De'Aaron Fox, in 32 minutes, he had 16 points, 7 boards, 4 assists. De'Aaron was 5 of 14 overall from the field uh, to get his 16 points, but he was 2 of 7 from downtown, and uh, he made all of his free throws. He was 4 of 4. You know, I know De'Aaron's been, obviously, as I mentioned before, and as it came out, that there's a bug going on, and De'Aaron's been – kind of just on and off the last couple of uh, games, four or five games. Um, I love the fact that he was out there fighting, you know, making plays happen, making things happen, and, uh, you know, holding his will defensively as well. Um, is he not 100%? Absolutely he's not 100%. But the fact that he's out there fighting through it and being a part of the team and just getting it done when we need him to, um, he hasn't disappointed. Yeah, at times today he tried to draw fouls and he tried to, take it up to the hoop all by himself a couple plays and not pass the ball. But the fact that he was out on the court, made his presence felt, and uh, found ways to get it done, whether it was offensively or whether it was dishing the ball, uh, De'Aaron Fox was okay. And I think that moving forward on this road trip coming up, he will probably have to play a little better. And I think that he will. So... Kevin Herter in 32 minutes, he had 12 points, 0 rebounds, 3 assists. You know, Kevin Herter was 5 of 18 overall from the field. He was uh, 1 of 11 from downtown. I'm not worried about his shooting regressing. Uh, you know, it hasn't been the best the last couple of games, but I think that he's going to be fine. I think he will be fine. Yeah, that number from downtown with 111 is not a good number that anybody wants to see, but that one three-pointer that he made was a big three-pointer just to kind of keep the momentum going. And um, I think that Kev's got to be better shooting-wise moving forward, and I think he will be. And Keegan Murray has looked really good the last couple of games. In 24 minutes tonight, Keegan had 11 points, four boards, zero assists. He was 4 of 7 overall from the field. He was 3 of 5 from downtown, so we can definitely live with that. And uh, Keegs, man, it's all about confidence, man, just getting your confidence back. And it's crazy. Just like the balance that I'm seeing overall from the starting five, all of them were in uh, double digits. And despite Fox and Kev having quiet nights, and that's a bonus. I'll put some bonus in there as well. Three out of your five starters have quiet nights offensively, um, and he's still going to win the game by nine points. Uh, yeah, you're a very good basketball team, and you're playing really good basketball right now. Um, let's talk about the bench. Davion Mitchell in 24 minutes tonight, he had nine points, three boards, five assists. I thought Dave did some good things. You know, he offensively, 
I was out there dropping dimes. And defensively, we know what he does defensively. Made it tough on DeMar DeRozan down the stretch. Um, he made it tough on Zach Levine as well. You know, haters want to come out and say that, oh, well, Dave's only like 5'3", Dave's only five, uh, Dave's only 6'3", six, six, or 6'11", or whatever, why not? So, uh, oh, just uh, he's just too short for bigger de- guards, bigger defenders. Look, man, that shit doesn't matter. The fact that he's tall, not taller than what you guys want him to be, and he's still out there playing bully ball defensively, and there were some calls tonight where there were some weak, weak-ass calls against Davion on the defensive end. Um, that's some BS. He's out there. He's competitive. He's a dog. And he's getting it done defensively when we need him to the most. So, shout out to Davion Mitchell for his nonstop defense and crazy menace energy on the defensive end. Uh, Malik Monk was a stud tonight, man. Uh, 24 minutes tonight. Monk had 20 points, two boards, five assists. Eight of 16 overall from the field. Three of nine from downtown. And he was one of one from the free throw line. Malik Monk's looking like he's going to be, he's going to go down as one of the best free agent signings this franchise has ever seen. Um, Flat out stud. He's been on a tear the last, uh, you know, five to seven games, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to stop right now. I wanted this to keep on going and hope he can sustain this over the road trip because we're gonna need his presence off the bench on this road trip. And the fact that Terrence Davis was out tonight because he was out with the lower back injury, Malik Monk carried offensively for the bench. So shout out to Malik for holding it down. Casey Akpala was solid. I thought he was really, really solid in the minutes that he got tonight. He had 18 minutes. He had four points, four boards, two assists, two of three overall from the field. He's all one from downtown. But the fact that you can you have a body in KZ that you can use as a wing, as a defender, to slow down DeRozan, you know, to put on Levine. I love the fact that KZ Akpala did solid, man. Solid, solid work for KZ tonight. Uh, Chemezi Metu was solid, too. You know, 12 points. I'm um, excusing. 12 minutes. He had 10 points, three boards, one assist. Um, he didn't miss a shot. He was 5-5 five five overall from the field, and I like the fact that Metu is coming into his zone. You know, I'm not going to lie. In the times in the past, I've been hard on Metu, but the fact that he's slowly growing on me in the minutes and the production that he's getting off the bench, I can see why Mike Brown is – he's part of Mike Brown's rotation and why he's uh, part of it is because he's playing really well off the bench and contributing in ways that he can. Uh, whether it's a, a lob from Malik Monk or Davion Mitchell, or whether it's crouching the boards and playing defense. Chemezi Metu has been solid, man. He's been solid off the bench, and it's great to see him be playing really well for the Kings. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, that was, that was the rotation tonight. Overall from the field, uh, we shot 47% from the field. You know, we were 13 out of 43. That's 30% from beyond the arc. And 17-19 uh, overall from the line. I love that. I freaking love that. You know, 89% overall. Um, 18 turnovers, got to clean it up there. But this is a win, so we'll definitely not worry about that tonight. And the dimes, you know, 30 assists as a team tonight for the Sacramento Kings. And with this win tonight, we are now 13-9 and nine on the season. We go on the road for the next six games. I think we're on the road for the next two weeks. So this road trip. I don't want to say it's going to make or break the season because I think this team is good enough to get some wins on this road trip. But best believe this road trip is going to be tough. You're going to play Milwaukee. You're going to play Philadelphia. You know, Toronto, that trip to Toronto is always tough. Um, you know, you're going to play the Cleveland Cavaliers. There's some good freaking teams coming up on this road trip. And the fact that if the Kings can sustain this type of play, they'll have chances to win some wins on this road trip. And I want that to happen because – some have spoken that, oh, we're not going to sustain this on the road trip. You know, I've seen all the stuff like, oh, well, is this road trip's a make or break road trip. Uh, can the Kings do it? Can they sustain this? And I think that that's motivation right there. I think the players see that, and I think that the uh, the players are going to take that under under their belt. And let's get some wins on the road trips. Let's prove everybody's astounding us wrong. Um, Six-game road trip, two weeks on the road away from home. Let's do it, man. Let's get some wins. Let's beat the team that we're not supposed to beat or people that think that we're not supposed to beat. Uh, let's get some. Let's get some wins. So I'm looking forward to this road trip. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on tonight's game. Great win. Early start game. A great weekend of Kings basketball. You know, you go to L.A., beat the Clippers, take care of business without, you know, quiet PG. You come home. Short short commute, short, short flight from, SAC to L, uh, from L.A. to SAC. You come out with an early game today. You take care of business at home against the Chicago Bulls team. And, you know, you got to be feeling pretty good, pretty good about yourself right now. 
Um, we're second in the division. We're currently fifth right now in the Western Conference. And the fact that um, this team, some offensive offensively, this team didn't make shots uh, from you know their some of their core players. And the fact that you can still sustain and win this game and get stops defensively, yeah, I'm pretty. I'm feeling pretty damn good about about this Sacramento Kings team right now. And uh, boy, uh, the beam is lit. I can actually see it from my house, so the beam is freaking lit, and it's great to see the beam lit tonight, and uh, let's keep it lit on this road trip. So with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for me for today's video. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys have yourself a great rest of your Sunday night. God bless. Keep pushing forward. Have a great night. Go Kings. Sacramento proud. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.